Senator Duckworth. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I thank you to the panel for all of you being here today. I want to begin by talking about the importance of partnerships between the private sector and our national laboratories in maintaining United States leadership in AI. Illinois is a proud home of two crown jewels of the national laboratories, Fermilab, America's premier particle physics and accelerator laboratory, and Argonne National Laboratory, home to the Aurora supercomputer that will accelerate breakthroughs in AI, cancer research, and fundamental physics. There is nothing more important than sustaining and amplifying investments in our nation's incredible network of national labs. Yet Donald Trump and Elon Musk, with the support of some Republicans in Congress, are plotting to take a chainsaw to the vital research initiatives being carried out across our country. This is a self-sabotaging attack, plain and simple. Um, and if allowed to proceed, Trump and Musk will inflict lasting harm on our innovative capabilities and capacity that our enemies could only dream of achieving. Does anyone truly have confidence that had Doge been around decades ago, they would not have cut the project that created the internet as an example of wasteful, publicly funded research and development? So my question to any member of the panel is the following. Can you explain the importance of the national lab system to maintaining our research edge and discuss any partnerships you've established or are currently pursuing, especially those threatened by massive cuts to the national lab's research? We partner with the national labs, so maybe I could take a first Please. cut of this. Uh, also, Senator, I would love to get to visit a Lab someday. That would be like a, that was my a next real, question. That would be a real You're life welcome. highlight. That'd be very cool. Um, there's many wonderful things that AI is going to do for the world, uh, but the one that I am personally most excited about is the impact AI will have on scientific discovery. I believe that new scientific discovery is the most important input to the world getting better and people's quality of lives getting better um, over time. It is, uh, it is hard to overstate where we would be, um, if, where we are because of scientific advancement and where we, we would be if without it. So we're thrilled to get to partner with the national labs on this. Um, I think science has not been as efficient as it can be. And we're, we're also thrilled to hear from scientists that they're you know, multiples more effective than they used to be. And I think that AI tools will mean we can accomplish at some point a decade worth of scientific progress in a year for the same cost or even less. Um, this, this will be one of the most important contributions, in my opinion, that AI makes to the world. And um, it's no longer theoretical. Like the national labs are, are a great example. That's the only partnership where we've given a copy of our model weights to another organization. Uh, it's a, a very deep and important partnership to us. And I expect that that will really bear fruit. Thank you. Anybody else on the panel? Do uh, yeah, I, I think you highlight a very important issue. You know, this country has 17 national labs administered by the Department of Energy and about 85 to 90 research universities. And you know, together, they are the fabric of much of scientific discovery and have been since the Manhattan Project in World War II. Um, we in the tech sector, we at Microsoft work with most, almost all of them. And there's a particular cycle of innovation that the United States has mastered. You have curiosity-driven research in these institutions, and then the advances move out of those institutions into startups and into larger companies. And what I always find interesting is I meet with officials around the world. They have studied this. They seek to emulate it. And I always worry that in the United States, we run the risk of taking it for granted. We should never take this for granted. It is the foundation for the country's technological leadership. Very much so. Dr. Sue? I just wanted to add to that. Uh, we are also very large supporters of the public-private partnerships <laughs> with the national labs. I think the national labs have, um, you know, in a way, always tried to look ahead of the curve, mm -hmm. and you know that's a great place for us to invest. Uh, we think they're a key piece. Uh, we have partnered with all of the national labs as well, um, you know, over the last decade, and you know it, that continues to be a place where um, I think there can be significant public-private partnership. Thank you, Mr. Interior. I, I just think it would be really interesting to come to these AI factories and to walk or travel through these institutions and identify all the different pieces of the science that leads back and was ultimately 
driven and founded on something that came out of those institutions because it's amazing, actually. Thank you. And would any of the uh, remain three of you would like to come to a lab in Illinois, either Fermi or Argonne? I will give We're you personal in. tours. <laughs> all right, you. all four of you. It's done. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman.